Hello and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka. The question says, if two equal chords of a circle intersect within the circle, prove that the segments of one chord are equal to the corresponding segments of the other chord. Now this is the figure that will help us in solving this question. We are given over here is that the chords are equal to each other. So AB is equal to CD and they are intersecting within the circle. So let us name this point as P. We need to prove that the segment of one chord that is AP and PB is equal to the corresponding segment of the other chord. So that will be PD is equal to PC. So we need to prove that AP is equal to PD. That is the corresponding segments and PB is equal to PC or CP. So we need to construct draw OM perpendicular on AB and ON perpendicular on CD. Now, let us start with our proof. And also join OP. Right. Now, I know that perpendicular From the center to the chord by six the chord, right? So that means that AM is equal to MB and similarly for the other chord also. CN is equal to ND. Since we are given that the chords are equal, so that means their half will also be equal to each other. So therefore I can write that AM is equal to ND also MB is equal to CN, right? Since their halves are equal, I can write that MB is equal to ND or CN anything and MB is also equal to one of the parts, one of the equal parts of the segment. So, now I have in triangle OMP that is OMP and ONP I know that OM is equal to ON. The reason is that equal chords we are given that the chords are equal to each other AB is equal to CD so equal chords are equidistant from the center, right? So the distance between their centers that is OM and ON are equal to each other. Further, angle OMP is equal to angle ONP because they are both 90 degrees each. 
and we know that the perpendicular from the center bisects the chord also and is perpendicular to the chord also and we have drawn it perpendicular itself and further OP is equal to OP that is the common part of the both triangles. So therefore triangle OMP is congruent to triangle ONP by RHS congruency criteria. Now I know that these two triangles are congruent to each other so their corresponding parts will also be equal to each other so I can write that therefore MP is also equal to PN by CPCT. So this part is also equal to this part. Further, I proved that AM was equal to NT. It has been already proved above. So if I add PM to both the sides what I have over here is AM plus MP is equal to NT plus M P. Also, A M plus M P, N D plus M P. Since it's equal to P N, I can write P N in place of M P, stating the reason because P M is equal to P N. So now, if you observe it. AM plus MP is equal to what? AP? That implies AP is equal to ND plus PN will be equal to PD. Right? So this proves our first part and further. I know that AB is equal to CD. So if I subtract AP from both the sides, I have AB minus AP is equal to CD minus AP. Now in place of AP, what will I write exactly? I will write that. That implies AB minus this part will give us the rest of the portion that is PB equals to. Now in place of AP I can write down PD because AP is equal to PD proved above from this condition. So that implies PB is equal to CD minus this portion will give us PC. Right. So these were the two statements that was required to be proved. So we hence proved that the corresponding segments that is AP is equal to PD and PB is equal to PC that is the corresponding segments of the equal chords are equal to each other. This completes my session. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and bye for now.